Good morning, my music friends and family. So good to see you today for Music Mondays for Littles. How about some more fun today on this beautiful Monday morning? All right, get those arms stretched out wide. Make sure you say this with me. Oh, and reminder, jab your shoes off. Good, glad to hear it. I have my socks on today too. Tick tock, tick tock. Here we go. The more we get together, 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 the more we get together, the happier we'll be. Cause your friends are my friends and my friends are your friends. The more we get together, the happier we'll be. So here we are together, together, together. So here we are together. Let's all give a cheer. Hooray! There's Bali and TJ and Annabelle and Sienna and George and Ella and Iris and Jed and Lorelai and Wesley. Good morning, my music friends. The more we get together, the happier we'll be. Yay! I'm so glad you sang that with me. Good job. All right, last time we met, we learned about two little dicky birds. Do you remember their names? Jack and Jill, right. Well, I brought a couple friends along today. You can just use your fingers for your dicky birds. And I brought, to make it more fun, a couple little friends here. So these are my dicky birds. So build your heel. You can build your heel this way, or you can just keep your legs pretzel style. Two little dicky birds sat upon a hill. One was named Jack, the other named Jill. Fly away, Jack. Fly away, Jill. Come back, Jack. Come back, Jill. Now, if you remember us talking last time about rhyming words and opposite words, Let's listen to some more opposite words and rhyming words. Two little dicky birds sat upon a pole. One was named fast. The other's name was slow. Opposites. Fly away fast. Fly away slow. Come back fast. Come back slow. Opposites. Yeah. Pole and slow are the two rhyming words. Let's do another one. Oh, this is a new one. Two little dicky birds. One is flying away on me right now. Oops. Two little dicky birds sat upon a gate. One was wobbly. The other was straight. Fly away, wobbly. Fly away, straight. Come back wobbly, come back straight. Good. Two little dicky birds flying in the sky. One was named low, the other's name was, that's the opposite, high, that's right. Fly away high, fly away low. Come back high, come back low. I like this one. Two little dicky birds sat upon my dad. What rhymes with dad? How about sad? The first one was happy. The second one was sad. Fly away happy. Fly away sad. Can you give me a big sad face? Come back happy. Come back sad. Good job. Give yourself a clap on that one. That's always a fun one to do. All right, let's stand up. We're going to do our fire song. And if you remember from last time, it starts with a big clap. Here we go. Fire, 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 fire. Hear the whistle blowing. Fire, 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 fire. Everybody's going. Climb the ladder. Squirt the hose with a shh, 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 shh. Out the fire goes. 
Oh, but now there's a big fire down the street. We have to help the firefighters. Let's go really fast. Ready? Fire, 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 fire. Hear the whistle blowing. Fire, 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 fire. Everybody's going. Climb the ladder. Squirt the hose with a shh, 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 shh. Off the fire goes. Woo, you can do that one as fast or as slow as you want to. All right, nice fire sign. Okay, let's sit back down again, get comfortable. I have a new listening activity for us today. Now I know you know about my slide whistle. We worked with that a couple of sessions already, haven't we? Okay, well today I brought some charts along and if you can see, it's an arrow that starts out low in this little box and goes way up high. Now I can do that with my slide whistle. Okay, the arrow points up to high. Can you do that with your voice? Ready? Let's do it again looking at my chart. Do it again. Start real low. Whoop. Right, we're getting those singing voices all warmed up and ready. Oh, here's another one. Look at here. We're gonna start here in the little box. And can we do this with our voices? Does it go very high? Not right away, does it? No. Whoop. And then it goes up real high. Let's try that one again. Free reading, families. Ooh, whoop. God. Let's see another one. Oh, here's a good one. Where's my little box? Way up high this time. So we're gonna start with our voices real high. Ooh, whoop. Let's do it again, your turn. Ooh, whoop. And again, um, adults, why we do this is to keep the child singing in their head voice, keeping their voice high. As Miss Donna and I talked last session, many children go to kindergarten, uh, even preschool and kindergarten, first grade, singing with a low pitch. So children naturally have that inflection. Woo! When they're playing with toys and games, they'll make some of these sounds. And we're just now making it visual for them as well as audible. So, um, and it is actually a pre-reading activity as you go from right to left. Sorry, left to right when you're reading. Okay, just wanted to share that with you. Oh, I need my rhythm sticks. Hang on a moment. If you have your rhythm sticks handy, Let's do this together. This game is called Chop, Chop, Choppity Chop. And you know what we're going to do? We're going to make some soup. Pretty good on a cold day, isn't it? You bet. So, what do we put in our soup? What do you think is a vegetable or something that we can put in our soup? We need the water, first of all, right? So let's pour in the water into our big bowl. There goes the water. Should we chop up some onions? Onions are good in soup. Okay, so remember how we talked about how we play and hold our rhythm sticks? One is straight and doesn't move. The other one does the work. Okay, so tap with me. Let's get our choppers going. Tap, tap, here I go. Chop, chop. Choppity chop, cut off the bottom and cut off the top. What there is left, we'll put in the pot. Chop, chop, choppity chop, stop. Okay, let's gather all those onions. Let's put them in our water. Give them a good stir. Oh, let's turn on the stove. Turn on the oven, here we go. Okay, what else should we chop up? Can you think of something else that would go in a soup or a stew? How about potatoes? Did you think of potatoes? Good. Let's get the potatoes ready. Oh, you know what? You gotta peel them first. My stick with the lines. 
makes a good sound for peeling those potatoes. Here we go. Chop, chop, choppity chop. Cut off the bottom and cut off the top. What there is left, we'll put in the pot. Chop, chop, choppity chop, stop. Let's take those potatoes, put them in with the onions, give them a stir. How about some carrots? Let's peel them. Okay, down the garbage disposal they go. Let's cut up our two carrots, ready? Chop, chop, choppity chop. Cut off the bottom and cut off the top. What there is left, we'll put in the pot. Chop, chop, choppity chop, stop. Put in the carrots, give it a good stir. I think we need to put some spices in there. How about some parsley? Let's shake some parsley in there. Some salt, ooh, some pepper. Give it another stir. Mmm, it's smelling good. Should we taste it? Oh, let's cut up one more thing. How about some meat? Should we cut up some chicken? Let's cut up some chicken and put some protein in our soup. We're gonna cut, we're gonna go really fast this time. Here we go. Chop, chop, choppity chop. Cut off the bottom and cut off the top. What there's left to put in the pot. Chop, chop, choppity chop, stop. Put the chicken in there. Give it a stir. I think it's done. Should we taste it? Mmm, it's delicious. We make good soup together. All right, good. Put your rhythm sticks aside, please. And I'd like us to stand up. This is a fun game. Oh boy, wait till you hear this one. I, I'm gonna tell you when the music stops, you stop and freeze. Okay, so it's like a stop and go game or a move and stop game. Here we go. Now, how does this music tell you to move? To me, it just is kind of walk with a bounce. You can do whatever you want. But this kind of sounds like a, I'm walking, bouncing a little bit. Stop. what you think it is. So you're not going to see it. You're not going to see it. I'm going to play it. And then you tell me what it is. Did you guess the tambourine? Good for you. I like how you're using your ears. I'm going to go get another one. 
what is this sound? Did you guess the shaker egg? Good for you. You're a good listener. Here's another one. Was that an easy one, the drum? You bet. Did you know that if you tap way at the edge, you get one drum sound, and when you tap in the middle, it's different. It's a different sound with one finger or your whole hand. All right, what else do I have? Oh. One more. You're going to guess this one right away. The rhythm sticks. Good. I have a couple other funny instruments to show you. This is called tempo blocks. And it's used in band and orchestras. And it has a very, very special sound. sounds like. Some people think it sounds like a clock ticking. Can you do that with your mouth and your tongue? And you know, just by forming your mouth differently, you can make a sound like that. What do you think it also sounds like? Pony trotting, a horse trotting, that's a lot of times, that's what these are used for, but it's in all different kinds of music. Now this one has five different blocks that all make a different sound, but my favorite one, see my pony, see my pony, I ride him each day, see my pony, see my pony, I ride him each day. What does this sound like? It's a bird sound, obviously. You knew that one right away. I know you did. It has water inside. And when I blow into this metal pipe, it makes that fun little chirping sound like a bird. sound effects. Ooh, this reminds me of a song that we've done a while ago. Here comes our choo-choo train chugging down the track. Remember that one? We'll do that one next week. Sounds just like a train coming, right? Train whistle. instruments the percussionists have in band and orchestra to help make the music sound even cooler. Let's see, what else do I have? Oh, I love this one. <laughs> it's called a ratchet and it sounds like you're winding something up. Another special toy. Here's a different, this is very old, a different kind of train whistle sound. But I want to show you something that you can make. Maybe this spring or summer when you go out walking in the woods or to the park, you can make your own little shaker. Now this is actually from Peru. I bought this from a music company that does fair trade for you grown-ups out there. They do fair trade with the people in Peru. And what they do is they collected all kinds of nuts and shells. And as you can see, they painted it and they got some nice designs on there. And then they burnt a design even in the wood. It was a nice little unique rattling sound. Now you can go out for a walk with your grown-up 
and collect acorns or shells, chestnuts, anything natural you see lying on the ground. And then here's where you need a grown-up's help. They can make a hole into the, sh uh, the nut and the shell and with string, you can even get fancy and tie a bead on like they did. And then a grown-up would have to drill a hole into the wood. Tie it all together nice and tight. You can paint it if you want to or paint the stick. So now we're involving art, that makes it fun. And you have your own little natural shaker instrument. Okay, I just had to share some of those fun toys with you. I call them the percussionist toys. Of course, they're instruments. I have a special guest today, and I'd like to introduce her, and she's gonna tell you all about her instrument. Her name is Pam. She plays in the Sheboygan Symphony with me, and she's gonna tell you all about her instrument. Here's Pam. Hello, boys and girls. It's so nice to be with you today. This is a French horn. I've been playing this like forever and I love the sound of it. Some people say it sounds like an elephant maybe. <laughs> Pretend you're a wolf, creepy crawling in the woods, looking for a duck or something. <laughs> the different instruments of the orchestra? It sure is. Now, I didn't tell you about a very special surprise, but in a couple of sessions from now, we're gonna hear a very special story and we're gonna hear the French horn. So you're gonna hear and see that wolf again. I am so looking forward to it. Make sure you tell your grown up about it because it's a pretty cool story that the instruments tell. 
All right, that's all I'm gonna tell you because the rest is gonna be a big secret. Okay, more movement, everybody. Would you go grab your scarves, please? I've got some fast and slow music. Which one is this? Slow, you bet. Move your scarves all over. If you only have one scarf, make sure you move your other hand too. Cross over your body. Throw it up and catch it. hiding some pretend cookies. This game is called the Baker Shop. And I'll show you my cookies. I have lots and lots of colors. And you can make your own cookies by getting, just even cutting it on a piece of paper, cutting a circle. All right, so we're just gonna do a couple here and we'll play this game again next week. But I got lots of colors. And I've got a penny. You don't have to have a penny, but do this with me. Down around the corner at the baker shop, there were lots of cookies with sugar on the top. Along came Bolly with a penny one day. You can call a family member. Along came Mama, along came Sienna, along came George with a penny one day. They bought a little cookie and took it away. What color did I take? That's right, yellow. So it's a game about our steady beat grown-ups, color recognition, which they're really good at, and they can tell you what color they picked and give you a penny. I don't think they cost a penny anymore. <laughs> okay, we're going to do more of that last, next week. I like my baker shop game. And we let's get our monkeys ready. Now, these monkeys bend, as we talked about a while ago, these monkeys' legs and arms and tails bend. And I'm gonna connect all my monkeys together. And you may not have time to do this right now, and that's okay. Do what you can. <laughs> I've got five little monkeys hanging in a tree. Five little monkeys sitting in a tree, teasing Mr. Alligator, you can't catch me. Along came the alligator, sneaky as can be, and plucked that monkey right out of that tree. If you can take them apart. I got them tied so good together. <laughs> How many monkeys are in the tree? Four, right? Let's do it again. Four little monkeys hanging in a tree, teasing Mr. Alligator, you can't catch me. 
Along came the alligator, sneaky as can be, and plucked that monkey right out of that tree. How many are left? Three. Let's sing this one really fast. Ready? Three little monkeys hanging in the tree. Teasing Mr. Alligator, you can't catch me. Along came the alligator, sneaky as can be, and snuck that monkey, or plucked that monkey right out of that tree. Two left, two little monkeys sitting in a tree, teasing Mr. Alligator, you can't catch me. Along came the alligator, sneaky as can be, and plucked that monkey right out of that tree. How many monkeys are left? One. We'll leave that monkey hanging in that tree right now. How about that? Okay, we'll do that one again sometime. Very good. Oh, what a fun, busy day. We certainly want to thank Pam from the Sheboygan Symphony Orchestra for sharing her instrument, the French horn, with us and making those special sounds. An elephant, and then she sounded like a wolf. Very cool. Clap, clap, clap your hands, clap your hands together. Clap, clap, clap your hands, clap your hands together. Wave, wave, wave goodbye, wave goodbye together. Wave, wave, wave goodbye, wave goodbye together. Hey, my special music friends, so happy that you got signed up for our special music for Littles program. I'll see you next time. Keep singing and dancing.